Hey guys, uh, today I want to talk about how to change this car into a high-speed buggy. Uh, it's relatively easy. And uh, let's take a look at this video and we'll talk about how to make this. Okay, let's And you can tell it's really fast now, right? And for this car, I do have to adjust the suspension, especially the rear. I ba I basically had the rear suspension using it to the soft softest setting. Uh, fun I had this uh, sticking out kind of it, and it's definitely pretty good control. And this is to avoid uh, spin spinning out the wheel, so um, you can control it a lot better at high speed. Fifty miles for this little car is pretty crazy. Now, with such a high speed, there's a drawback. As you can see, the uh, acceleration is only at 1.03 uh, g. Now, instead of trial and error modification, we'll do a little simple calculation. As you can see on the screen here, uh, all I need is to find out the center to center point of the spur gear and the pinion gear. And then find a matching gear ratios that will uh, fit the uh, center to center distance. To make a long story short, here's the uh, calculation results. From here on, uh, we can uh, put in the correct gearing without any other modification. Now, initially, I thought the bearings of the uh, 124017 is the same as this one. But it turns out it's not. The one at uh, 124017 is actually bigger. So this one is utilizing a smaller bearing. Uh, so as you can see, the uh, bearing size is different. So you can just swap it out. Well, first, uh, let's take the um, spur gear out. And then we'll swap it out with a uh, plastic spur gear that I have. Be careful, it's very hot, so uh, don't get burned. Uh, there are spur gears uh, available just uh, to be purchased by itself so you don't have to uh, like what I do dis disassemble this uh, assembly okay um, this bearing from this RC is the same as the one from 124007 um, anyway so you don't have to take that out you can just change it out like that well, just to be sure yep okay wait which side there this side as you can see put the bearing back put the uh, baffle gear back on for this build I'm gonna uh, reduce one bearings on each side So, like that, like that, put some Loctite back on. Ok, 
Okay, the uh, rear. Time to change out the motor. Okay, I'm gonna keep the stock motor, but ideally you wanna probably change it out to uh, 2845 size motor, okay? But for the sake of this uh, build, let's try that first. So we're gonna just change out the gears and see how that goes. I'm sure that's gonna get over here, so we're gonna put the fan on. Okay, got it out. Now this uh, motor mount is not the same as the one from Hypergo. Okay, just wanna let you know. So we're going to change out the pinion. Again, be careful, uh, don't burn yourself, okay? Now I wonder why WL Toy don't copy Traxxas or Armor. Uh, you know how they have optional gearings and then you can go higher speed <laughs> that could be a good advertising point would you think Yeah, just making sure the uh, motor orientation because you don't want the hissing uh, at the uh, bottom uh, which is hitting against the chassis. So according to my previous calculation, uh, this should fit just about right and here we go perfect all right so now you can see how easy it is to change it up and just close it all up and uh, we'll do a test run and see okay uh, don't be like me. I forgot to uh, insert this pin into the housing at the top deck, so I gotta redo this part. Oh well.
Okay, let's talk about, you know, this conversion. Uh, first you look at it, the tire's gonna burn up a lot quicker. Uh, this is my setup, it looks pretty clean. And as you can see, I have a uh, 3S light bulb in here. Uh, this one is okay if you're not bashing around, it's just, you know, running around on road. Cause it's just loosely, I just drop it in there. And it's kind of secure enough. Um, then, if you look at the setup I've got, it's only have a fan on top of the motor. And I have to move it off uh, to the center just because uh, there's not enough room with the uh, body shell on. It does just barely uh, provide enough cooling, so uh, that's okay. Now, as I mentioned before, the motor is a bit small for running 3S with this uh, gearing. So I would suggest you to uh, move up to a larger motor. As for the spur gear, a plastic one is great for on-road and speed runs. But um, for bashing around, you definitely want to change it out with the uh, metal gear. I do want to point out that the motor mount for this car is not entirely secure. So it has a little bit of play in it. Uh, on my next upgrade, I'm probably going to have to fix that. Well, all in all, just changing the spur gear and pinion gear, getting this car up to 50 miles an hour, that's pretty good, I would say. Okay, that's all, and thank you for watching.